Today is your lucky day because I'm going to show how easy it is to connect DualShock 4 or an Xbox One controller to an iPhone or iPad. Let's get started. <laughs> hey everyone, welcome to my channel. One of the most frequently asked questions on all of my videos that relate to video game controllers, specifically PS4 or Xbox controllers, is how do I connect that to an iPhone or iPad? So I finally had some extra time from my usual recording schedule, and instead of answering those questions individually, I'll answer it with a video. Really simple process, and the only requirement that you need to run a DualShock 4 or Xbox One controller, and I'll get into that later, which Xbox controllers actually work, is that your Apple device has to be running iOS 13 or later. I believe it's currently on 13.4.1, and that is what my iPhone 11 is currently on. Before I continue with the screen recording and controller pairing video, I made a video a few months ago titled How to Tell if Your Xbox Controller Has Bluetooth, and click that card above to see it because only Xbox controllers packed in with the Xbox One S and any other color or variation released after that Xbox One S, so anything after late 2016 will have Bluetooth, but unfortunately, if you have an original Xbox One, that original black controller that came packed in will not work because that does not have Bluetooth. So click that card to see if your controller has Bluetooth. Okay, back to pairing these controllers to an iPhone. So the first thing you do is obvious, have your Bluetooth turned on. I said Bluetooth like 87 times within that past 30 seconds. One really obvious thing that can help you tell if your Xbox One controller has Bluetooth or not is that the finish around the Xbox button matches the rest of the face or the controller. So if you look at an older Xbox One controller, such as the original one from 2013 that came with the original Xbox One, the finish around the Xbox controller is a bit more shiny or glossy and it looks Looks like it's made out of a different material and that's one of many differences so besides that video I mentioned earlier you can also use everybody's good old pal Google to find out if your controller has Bluetooth other than that if your Xbox one controller isn't connected to an Xbox pressing the Xbox button should get into pairing mode to nearby devices but if it is connected to an Xbox just press that pairing button on the top it's that little button with three lines next to it and the light will start to blink rapidly and that light right there indicates that it's in pairing mode and shortly after it should sync up to your iPhone or iPad and there it is it's connected to my iPhone and iPad really easily so I'm just gonna disconnect the Xbox one controller first so before I show it off while playing a game let me sync up a DualShock 4 controller and the process for that is simple as well too and if you're a fan of this rose gold PlayStation 4 controller shameless plug click that card above to check that video out and you can see this controller in more detail but i'm actually going to do it wrong right here so you don't press those two buttons you actually press the playstation and share button the button on the left side of the touchpad i'm a dummy so the light of the controller is currently on because it's connected to a ps4 but by pressing that playstation and share button for about five seconds it enables pairing mode and that stationary light should turn off and turn into a rapidly blinking light so i'm gonna hold it down for a few seconds right here and there you go, the light is off right now. Hold it down, keep holding. There it is, rapidly blinking light. And then as you can see in the bottom, the DualShock 4 controller is recognized on the iPhone. This will happen on iPad too. So everything that's going on the iPhone does occur for the iPad as well too. So as I bring the phone up to the video camera, you can see that on the third line right there, third row, it says DualShock 4 wireless controller connected. Same thing as in the screen capture, I'm just showing both off just to kind of prove a point, and I really wanted to play Call of Duty, but I forgot that I uninstalled it. So, <laughs> so I'm just going to load up Asphalt 9, and that's another fun game to play with a controller on a mobile device. And it's actually on the Switch too, and you know, I'm not trying to promote it or anything, but for a free game, it's pretty fun, but it does have a lot of microtransactions. So, you know, some pros and cons when you get a free game, you just have to suffer through a lot of that. <laughs> Rather than forcing everybody to just sit through a bunch of loading screens or even speeding it up just for, I don't know, recording sake, I'm just going to jump straight into a race. And I also apologize for my cheap camcorder because it's trying to focus on my iPhone 11 so hard that it makes the screen so dim and it brightens it up when it can't focus and it goes back and forth on the controller to the phone. So apologies for that, but at least you can see my fingers and it's actually moving the game. And the left analog stick is steering the car while X is accelerate. From time to time, I'll press L2 to drift and R2 to do the nitrous. And, you know, there's some frame rate issues because iPhone screen recording isn't the best. So don't judge me for that. This isn't one of those videos. And I'm trying to talk over the sound because I don't want to get some sort of copyright strike because of the sound for this game. Because I don't know if you can use it or not. So <laughs> there's the PlayStation 4 controller, the DualShock 4 controller. 
So I'm going to exit the game and I'm actually going to unpair the PlayStation 4 controller and I'm going to pair up the Xbox One controller and we'll see how that does on asphalt. The button layout should be the same, but if there's a game with mappable buttons, you can just do it to as you please and play the game how you like. So I think Call of Duty Mobile has mappable buttons as well as PUBG Mobile. If I'm wrong, let me know in the comments below. I'm not much of a mobile gamer, so <laughs> this is a realm that I'm not too familiar with, but all I know is you can connect the Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller to your iPhone or iPad or actually Android devices they had it first and uh, you know Apple is always late but everybody makes it revolutionary when you can do something new on an iPhone but you can do it on an Android like five years ago yeah I said it and you know I've been an Android user for such a long time I just switched to the iPhone 11 last year because the camera is amazing and I hadn't had an iPhone since the iPhone 5, so this camera blew me away. Anyway, so here's the Xbox One controller, left analog sticks moving around. Oh, look, just did a whole 360 right there. L trigger is, is that what it's called in the Xbox? LT, right? L trigger, left trigger, that's for drifting as well. A is to go, right trigger is to do nitrous. Everything's working just exactly the same. Actually, it feels a little bit nicer with the Xbox controller. And this is coming from a ginormous PlayStation fanboy here. <laughs> so I'm going to play just a little bit longer. Actually, I'm not. There is the pause button going on and off. I'm just trying to time this voiceover as good as I can. <laughs> so all the buttons work. Everything's working properly. Hopefully this video helped you out. I really, really appreciate that y'all took the time to just watch this video and spend some time with me. But if you like this video, make sure to check out these other videos. And if you really liked hanging out with me, make sure to subscribe to be the first to know when I upload something new or even go live on my channel. I'll see everybody soon. Have a great day. Bye.